One of the least known and most vital roles in support of international civil aviation is filled by the Aeronautical Information Service, the AIS. The objective of the AIS is to ensure the flow of information necessary for the safety, regularity and efficiency of international air navigation. Each state is responsible for making available any and all information which is pertinent to the aircraft operations within its territory. The need, role and importance of aeronautical information have changed significantly with the evolution of modern CNS ATM systems. The implementation of area navigation, required navigation performance or airborne computer-based navigation systems has brought about exacting requirements for the quality of aeronautical information and terrain data. ICAO Annex 15 on Aeronautical Information Service describes critical data in the following manner. There is a high probability when using corrupted critical data that the continued safe flight and landing of an aircraft would be severely at risk with the potential for catastrophe. Today, most pilots depend on the quality of the onboard navigation database. Coordinates for runway thresholds, waypoints, navigational aids play an important role. In an FMS world, consistency and integrity of data is a major issue. To achieve this quality requirement, the states are establishing quality systems and putting in place quality management procedures at all stages receiving or originating, collating or assembling, editing, formatting, publishing, storing and distributing the data. In spite of all quality procedures, the major cause of loss of integrity seen today is through human error made in manual environments. It is well known that in a quality managed environment, the human processes achieve an error rate of at best one in a thousand that is nowhere near the one required for flight critical data. It is therefore necessary to minimize the operator's errors whilst helping them to perform their task at all stages of the data chain process. If we consider just one piece of data from its origin to operational use, for example, a runway threshold. At the very start, the data is created by a surveyor operating a GPS system taking measurements. This constitutes the initial data value. At the surveyor's office, the data is quality checked. The data might have been electronically uploaded or manually extracted from the surveyor's system. A word processed report is written for the contracting authority, in this case the aerodrome, and sent in the form of a paper document or by email. Thus, all actions which have been undertaken comprise a certain amount of risk for the integrity of the data. Initially extracting the data manually constitutes a first risk. Even electronic extraction might be prone to errors of transmission. To create the report, the data might have been cut and pasted or manually entered. When the report is sent to the aerodrome, it could have been sent by email, which is not error-proof, or by post, which includes a risk that the letter may reach its destination late or not at all. When the aerodrome receives the data, an operator enters it into a database. The data is ready to be exploited by the procedure designer to create a new landing procedure, then transmitted to the AIS, which produces official documentation for all users. Data packers and integrators reformat it into specific products like handbooks or onboard navigation databases. Thus, with just one example, we can see that the complete data flow is long, complex and susceptible to errors at every stage. The European AIS database, the EAD, was launched in 2003. Centralized information has improved data integrity and significantly simplified the data chain. However, the EAD does not cover processes taking place before the state AIS, the so-called upstream data operation. This is the purpose of the chain activity, to address the whole data chain and ensure that the quality data reaches the required level of integrity. The chain activity proposes a solution to gradually evolve towards an optimal target 
whilst remaining realistic. As a first step, system-wide awareness will be raised at all levels, covering all areas from technical to management. As a second step, a set of guidance material will be developed and disseminated to promote best practices at each level. Each player is sensitized to the data integrity challenge, paving the way for the subsequent step. As a third step, CHAIN helps the states to put a managed, automated process into place. This improves the data supply chain at the weakest points, namely where there is loose structure or loose communications. This third step will consist in commonly developed and harmonized specifications built around the following cornerstones. Interoperable standards. For all players to be able to use and process the data seamlessly, open and interoperable standards must be developed. Applying these standards will reduce re-entry or manual transfer of the data, which today is one of the major factors for data integrity loss. Metadata. The possibility of tracing data life from its origin to publication is of major importance. Each time a data is processed, metadata can indicate the name of the person performing the action, the nature of the action, in fact, any relevant information that can help audit the data integrity and quality. Secure data storage. Storage of electronic data must be secure so that it is protected against unauthorized access or simply prevented from media physical corruption. For this purpose, Cyclic Redundancy Check, CRC, provides good protection. Secure Data Transmission The same security concern applies when the data is transmitted from one system to another. Again, CRC offers good protection. Encryption will ensure confidentiality of the data, and digital signing will confirm the identity of the originator together with its legitimacy to process the data. Finally, third-party processes. At one stage, it is inevitable that the data leaves the controlled environment to be used by third-party processes. In this case, basic requirements are put into place to verify that the third-party process has used the correct data value for its treatment. By putting into place these principles, a system approach can ultimately be built where a single occurrence of the data exists but is shared by all users that require it. The chain activity approach will ensure the most reliable environment to preserve data integrity. Are you a supplier of aeronautical information? Then you are a key player in the aeronautical data chain.